Hello YouTube. Welcome to the Platy Pen. We have some new fish here. So we have some new introductees. The first group that we have here is our bumblebee platies. Now what's really exciting about these guys for me is that I have been on the look for these guys for about six months now. Not just to find this type, but to find a good quality of this type. All of the ones that I've seen at the Petco and PetSmart by me are just not of a good quality. The patterns were very bad. The colors were even worse. The colors that they had Petco and PetSmart were the yellows would be a greenish, grayish kind of black, and the blacks would be kind of a bluish, grayish, whitish color. So they weren't very good colors, and the patterns were just terrible. Now where I found these guys at was Marine Oasis on Westridge Road in Spencerport, New York. I had found out that they had bumblebee platies because of their website and me and my wife stopped in there a couple weeks ago. They didn't have any in stock but they said do call back in a week or two because we do get them and they are seasonal. So we don't always have them but when we do you gotta get them quick. So I would called them about a week ago and they had them and by the time I got over there they only had four left so it was three females and one male and I picked them all up and I'm certainly glad I did because as soon as I saw them I knew they were of a very good color and quality better than anything I've seen in a while now they're not the best as you can see here this one female she's pretty patchy and her black isn't that solid and her yellow isn't that gold or bright so we'll have to work on her. Same with this one here. She's mostly yellow and doesn't have a lot of black. But the one male is <laughs> the guy who's trying to impregnate her right now. Is this guy right here. That's the one male. He has a very good yellow and he has a very good black. Both are solid, both are bright. So I'm glad that I got the good male and he should be reproducing. Now this female here is the reason I started the quarantine in this tank. She started getting a little bit of fin rot. I'm not sure what it was, if it was velvet or something else. I have been medicating with APIs, EM erythromycin and general cure and it seemed to have cleared her up pretty well. I think I got them on Tuesday, started the treatment on Wednesday Today's Sunday, and she looks pretty good. She's, you know, I'm still medicating with the general cure for a little while longer. I'll see if I'll have to redo the erythromycin. But so far, so good. I've been feeding them brine shrimp and high quality flake food. So, no sooner than five minutes after I had taken these guys out of the bag and put them in the tank, the male had started mating with the female that is now in quarantine. So I don't know if he stressed her out, and by the next day she started getting those patches on her fins, or what. But I think so far he has mated with every female in here. He went one to the next, to the one right after. And he seemed to have started with the best coloration, being the female you see here. And then he went to the next one, which is back in here right now, which is the second best coloration. You can see her right there. And then he went to the third best coloration. So he seems to have picked the cream of the crop first and then went to the worst of it. As you can see there's a big catapa leaf in there and that's to help with the antifungal properties that it produces when it makes tannins. It also has a lot of other good qualities. Um, I'll have to try to find the paper that Rabbit Flip Aquatics was talking about but I believe he said that these catapa leaves we're known to help fight and resist cancer. Platys are known to produce tumors, especially when they p possess this Negra gene, where they produce the black pigmentation on the scales. I'll have to look up what type of platys that the bumblebees are, because I know that there are some types of platys that are prone to that tumor disease, along the black pigmentation of the scales, but there's another type that is not prone to that, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to reread read the few books that I have and try to clear that up for you. 
but these guys are doing good. Uh, I want to take you up now and I want to show you the next group of pl new platys that I bought because I got two new strains. So these are the next group of new inhabitants we have here at the platy pen and these might be a little harder to see because they're a little more skittish than the bumblebee platys but these are high fin blue coral platys. So I bought these at Pet World Aqua Shop on West Ridge Road in Greece, New York and they only had five of them left and I thought one was a male and the four were females but it turns out all five are females now I'm not probably not going to be able to get these guys for a while again because when the store does order them they have to order about 200 at a time and they can't always get them so I'm going to have to hope that these females have been impregnated by males before they do look like they have rabbit marks so what I was hoping is that they were impregnated when they were at the store and they just didn't let that fry be come to anything because they weren't held in the most you know, idealistic parameters you know where they were getting fed a lot not that they were mishandled or anything at the pet store just that they don't do the care that we do because they're trying to keep the waist down where they're trying not to feed them all the time they don't want to have the babies like we do so right now I have them going through quarantine just with some general cure and they should be finishing up about the same time the bumblebee platys do but they're very good looking and they do have their gravid marks they're starting to color up again they're just hiding and they're very skittish for right now so hopefully we can get them warmed up to being in their new home. This tank is just kind of my Cryptocorn When Daddy Grow Up tank. So I bought one plant in my local fish store. It was at the same Pet World Opera Shop. And that plant has propagated in the last two months to ridiculous amounts. You can see the bottom of this tank is pretty much covered up. I have it in about two other tanks, including my one planted, my one 40 gallon planted tank in the living room. Very beautiful fish. Yeah, this tank is very scratched. <laughs> this is a very old aquarium that I got from my dad. I think he's had it since about the late 80s. You can see that one hiding down in there very nice colors I just wish they weren't so skittish this one's a little tailed up but I think she's kinda stressed there's three of them at the bottom here that seem a little stressed so I'm just gonna finish up these shots and get out of their way again you've seen this one but here's just another view this one's a little better colored now the two that are swimming up there, you can see that dark gravid mark towards the end of their abdomen. So I believe that they are pregnant. That one at the top probably is the best coloration just because I like those bars going down her back. The vertical bars. The last one I won't be able to get a good shot of because she's way in the back and she's hiding. But you can see her. You can see all the general cure on top of the Cryptocorn leaves. So for those other three, including the one that's in the picture right now on the top, will make it. Because the water parameters seem to be good since those two have very erect fins. They're presenting them very boldly. They have good colors. So hopefully the rest will come back around. Same with those bumblebee platies, because those are definitely my favorite. These blue coral platies will be going out in the 40 gallon planted tank. That'll be our display tank in our living room. I think we're painting our living room a grayish bluish color, so they'll kind of blend in with that. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my new inhabitants as half as much as I know I'm going to enjoy them. Because I love bumblebee platies and I've been looking for them for a long time. And those blue coral platies are also very nice. I just hope that they can start producing fry and that they have been impregnated before by a male. But if not, I might have to look around an aqua bed or try to get in touch with some other hobbyists. If you did like this video, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, 
Thank you all for watching. I pray God blesses your aquariums and keeps your animals multiplying. Have a great day.